my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing uh, what's in my hospital bag and I am actually doing what's in the baby's hospital bag and then what's in Matt's hospital bag and um, just everything that we're bringing to the hospital. The baby just started kicking. So since we're going to be in the hospital for only like 24 hours and they basically said that they provide like a lot of the necessities for you, um, for the mom and for the baby. So I didn't want to overpack and on those things. Um, so I'll just go through everything that I packed for me first. And um, I just have this, like a rolling bag that I've had for a while. And I thought this would be easier so I don't have to like carry it. I just roll it and um, I attached like a hand sanitizer because I am such a germaphobe. So I'm definitely like always having to carry hand sanitizer, especially in the hospital. If people are touching the baby and stuff, you want to make sure. I'm sure they have hand sanitizer, but I would bring like a little hand sanitizer just in case because mine smells a lot better <laughs> than probably the one in the hospital. And then opening it up, one of the most important things that I brought was a folder for the baby. And this has all the important information in it for insurance and stuff like that. And um, I have like his pediatrician information in here and this is definitely important so the hospital can get in, in contact with your pediatrician if that's what they do. They do that for us. And I just wrote his name in here. So this folder is just going to be all his important documents because you want to make sure you keep everything together. So I definitely recommend getting a folder. This is just like a five star one from Walmart. It's just, you know, simple. And then also in my bag, I have all my toiletries, which I probably won't even use all of them because I'm not planning on showering in the hospital. But they do provide like a bathtub for you. And it's like a really big jacuzzi tub. So if I do decide to take a bath, um, I can use my own products from home. And I think I got this at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx and you can see everything. It's really nice. Just like a plain clear travel thing that comes with all the little bottles. And then definitely a hairbrush. This I think I got either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This is literally the most amazing hairbrush ever. I've had this forever. And it's just like the wet and dry one. And it's just, you know, it, it's a nice hairbrush. And it's really easy and light. Lightweight. And then I have this little pink bag. And this is just for little extra things that I feel like I will need. Hospitals are so, I feel like, drying on your skin. So I definitely went and got some lotion. This is just the Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion from Target. This was like 99 cents at, in the travel section. And then also Vaseline because I can't go without my lip balm. So I just put this on my lips because my lips are always dry, like right now. So I definitely recommend getting Vaseline if your lips are dry. So I just keep these on me at all times. And then all other little mommy things that I might need is this um, nipple cream. I think this is just from Amazon. I will try to link it down below, but it came with my um, breast pump. So I definitely recommend getting that just in case if you're pre planning to breastfeed. I heard that your, your ladies tend to get really dry. So <laughs> along with that, I also got like um, breast pads. So recommend getting those. They probably give that to you at the hospital, but just in case, I'm just bringing a few of those. And then also these pink, nice um, overnight, like what they're called, pads. I know they'll give that to me at the hospital too, but just in case I don't like those, um, I'm bringing my own, but not a lot of stuff, just a few little things like that. Kitty cat, what are you doing? Not letting mama film. And then onto another, a few other things. I'm definitely bringing some headphones because I feel like these are necessary for when I'm FaceTiming people or I want to FaceTime my, you know, family because I don't really know how it's going to work out. My family lives all the way in California, so it's not something that you can like plan for. I wish you could plan for when he's going to be here, but unfortunately, I don't know if my family is going to be there um, after I give birth. So. Headphones are just a good way because I know it's going to be crazy and loud in there and um, I will be able to just, you know, talk to my family using the headphones and 
it's just a good thing to have just in case I want to listen to music or anything like that and slippers I've heard that the hospitals are super super cold and I don't like my feet touching the floor so I'm always wearing like slippers or flip-flops I definitely recommend one or the other or both if you want to bring both so yeah I think these are just uh, Matt ordered these from Amazon I'll try to find a link to them but they're really really cozy and then a few other clothing things that I brought I brought some nursing bras this one I believe is from I think it's from Walmart it's just like a Walmart or pretty sure it's from Walmart but it's an actual like nursing bra um, these little things come off and you know just like plain old nursing bra and then I have another one like this this one is just really comfortable and then I'm just bringing um, my belly band because afterward I just would like to wear this home or if I want to be more comfortable you know I like to have this because I probably am not gonna wear my leggings which usually go over my belly so definitely bringing that and then just like comfy undies I'm just bringing one pair because I know they give you disposable ones at the hospital so I didn't want to overpack on that and bring stuff that I don't need and then onto a few other things um, once again if it's really cold in the hospital I brought this this is from Charlotte Rue just like a warm sweater thing to go over just in case I get really cold and this is just really cozy and it's, I know it's going to be just like nice to cuddle with it and just you know have it by me and it reminds me of home so it'll be nice to have something like this and then for going home outfit this is literally like so simple I'm just bringing this um dress I think this is from Target Massimo Supply Company it's just like a loose black dress um, it's really soft and really comfortable and it's not like tight or anything anywhere and then over that I'm just gonna wear this cardigan so this is by atmosphere and it's I think this is like a size large it has like pockets and it's just super soft um, just something really comfortable to wear home. I didn't want anything to be tight. I don't want to wear leggings. I don't want to wear like jeans or anything like that. I'm literally just going to wear this dress with this and um, probably just some flip flops. So that is it for my hospital bag. You guys can let me know if you thought I overpacked, but I really honestly don't think I did. And then the last thing that I'm going to bring is um just like a little little makeup bag because i obviously use it every day so i didn't want to pack it right now but i'm just gonna bring like my essentials like mascara you know foundation stuff like that i don't wear a lot of makeup so i'm just gonna bring a few little things and then i'm gonna show you quick what else i'm bringing i'm bringing this for matt i actually packed it today because it's just super simple and i thought i would do this for him because he's at work right now and um yeah this is just a backpack from amazon it's actually like a diaper bag too but i thought this would be nice for him to have so we don't have like a big suitcase that we bring over here i just packed his favorite little snacks i'm sure like i'll get more like energy drinks or stuff like that that he can bring with him so he doesn't have to get it at the hospital but it's just like little snacks for him and then inside Oh, and then I wanted to show you definitely a phone charger. I'm probably going to bring two phone chargers for me and for him just in case. Definitely his, um, his, what's it called? Toiletries bag. It just has like his contacts and stuff like that in it. His deodorant, mouthwash, you know, just your typical toiletries. And then his favorite sweatpants that are just really comfortable and soft something he'll be warm in and comfortable in and then a pair of shorts again if he gets hot or cold whatever he can wear one or the other just a pair of boxer socks and then um two two shirts just one that like a nicer one and then one that he can just wear to sleep so just those two things and then obviously he'll probably wear, wear like a jacket or, or a sweatshirt or something over there so this is just something really simple 
Um, he won't need it any more than that, I don't think. If he wants to bring other stuff, he can, but I don't think he's honestly gonna need any more than that. So it's just really easy. Not too much stuff. Um, I'm getting out of breath. See, I'll, I'll save the baby bag for last because it's my favorite part. Because, you know, baby stuff is always the cutest stuff. Of course, we're bringing all of our camera stuff. So we're bringing our Canon, Canon camera. Um, this is the case for it. We just have like a million, what's it called? Little cards in it, the, you know, memory cards in it just to have extras and the battery charger for it. I have this for it just in case if you're planning on, you know, filming, which we are. Just have that stuff for it. And then this is for my phone just in case the camera battery dies. Or if, just in case my phone dies, I just have this extra um, Mophie thing, whatever it's called. Mophie. So this will be nice to have if my phone dies and I can't like get to a charger. So I definitely recommend getting this. I think you can get them really cheap on Amazon or even like Marshall's TJ Maxx or anything like that. And then onto my favorite part is the baby's hospital bag. I showed this um, diaper bag in my, let's see, in my baby, baby haul video. I'll link it down below. But yeah, this is just from Walmart. I just thought this was super cute. It's really cheap. And I love all the colors. It's by Baby Boom. And um, I just, I love the, just everything about it. It has like the pockets. It has a little changing table. Um, just in case, or like changing pad. Just in case we stop somewhere on the way home or something like that. Just never know. Always better to be prepared. And inside, I have just a few essentials for the baby. I know they give you stuff at the hospital. But of course, you know, you always want to bring some of your own stuff. And here I have this little cute Pampers bag that came in my, I think, Target Pampers, like, a bag or something like that. You can get, like, a free one if you register with them. And then here I literally have, like, three little newborn diapers because I know they give you stuff at the hospital, but just in case, I like to be prepared. And then I have a little six wipes um packet thing and then i also have in here little tiny white socks for him for his little feetsies and then two pairs of little white or little gloves for his hands doesn't scratch himself and then i know my hospital they don't give out passies anymore so just in case i brought you know just a couple passies for him just like newborn ones and yeah, so to never be too prepared, but I really didn't think this was too much stuff. So just a couple of things for just in case. And then inside for clothing items, this I actually found last night at Marshall's and I thought this was so freaking cute because I didn't have anything like this yet for pictures and stuff. And this is like a photo op hat and swaddle. And this is so cute. I'm literally obsessed with this. I'm going to bring this and take pictures when he is born and when we swaddle him up and just thought this was adorable I still have to wash this everything else has been washed but yeah I'll definitely wash this and it's super soft I just thought this was so cute definitely bringing this and then I'm bringing one one um like a burp cloth for him it's just like a simple one I think this was from my also baby haul video so just one of these didn't want to overpack like i said and then i'm bringing one sleeper this might be a little big but you know it's it's fine it's just like it zips up right here so it doesn't have the legs or anything and this is super cozy and adorable i love this so much thought this would be nice to have just in case you just never know like how many times you have to change them or anything like that and then I brought this little cute newborn pajamas and it is literally the cutest thing ever and you can put like this over his little hands so you don't even need little gloves for him. So adorable. And then I, I brought his like coming home outfit. So I just brought like a little newborn, 
This is um, Carter's Newborn Law White Onesie. And this is adorable. And I'm not revealing his name yet, so it has his name on the back of this. But it's just like a little black hat that I ordered from Etsy. And then also, I don't know which pants he's going to wear yet because I don't know how big he's going to be. But I brought these ones that are super cute. Look at the little feet. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. And this, this, is, this is Carter's too. I think I got these from Target. So cute. And then I also might have him wear these little pants, which are adorable. So, what else in here? Also bringing his baby blanket that... We got him just to keep him warm and I wanted to have this for him when he's born. It has like little, you know, little giraffes and little, little animals on it. So this is just adorable and stuff. Just something for him to have. And I'm also bringing the Boppy, of course. This was from Marshalls. Really cute. I love this. I still need to take this off and wash it. But um, yeah, this is what I'm bringing there. Just to have while I'm breastfeeding and stuff like that to be more comfortable. This is pretty much it for all the stuff that I'm bringing to the hospital. I uh, don't think I overpacked or anything. But if you guys have any other things that I have maybe missed. Or maybe that I you think I don't need. Let me know down in the comments. But obviously I'm a first time mom. So I want to bring it. Yeah, just things that I'm comfortable with and things that I think I will need. But I definitely don't think that I overpacked. And um, I won't be there for that long. So, yeah. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Hopefully I won't forget anything. And let me know down in the comments if you like this. What's in my hospital bag? Now we just wait and see when he decides to come out and when he decides to be here. So, it's probably going to be in the next month or less. I just, just literally like can't believe how fast time has flown. I'm trying to enjoy this last month of my pregnancy and feeling him kicking and moving around. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also subscribe to our channel because we have so many exciting videos coming up. Of course, birth vlog is going to be one of them. But yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.